Hey everybody, I think we're live here. <laughs> it's uh, Steve Anderson, the Rum Meister for uh, December 22nd, 2018. My second video of the day, I had an unpackaging earlier uh, from uh, my buddy Caleb Rappaport. And uh, I have an unboxing uh, of the EVH uh, miniature uh, Kramer, what would be the Kramer 5150. Uh, you can see it, it's supposed to have uh, this extra seventh uh, tuner on it. Around 1990 was the first time I saw uh, the Kramer 5150 uh, with the uh, seventh tuner at the Cabo Wabo Cantina, opening of the Cabo Wabo Cantina. Um, I would say <laughs> this was always uh, the guitar I always wanted. This is from, you can see, uh, sorry, on this corner, uh, Guitar for the Practicing Musician magazine. This was from uh, April 1987. This was the four-page pullout uh, out of the magazine then. Uh, this is, you know, was framed then. <laughs> so this is, you know, pushing 31 years old, this whole thing I did. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this was always my favorite guitar, always one that I wanted to have. Um, I did my own build of it, which is right here. <laughs> It's a music craft body and a uh, music craft neck and uh, also have the EVH 5150 but doing your own is way more accurate and uh, anyway I'm going to do the little unboxing of the miniature one here and I'll show you the back that's the photo they have of the back of it so it shows the wear and also on the front I didn't do that on my replica but uh, yeah let's open her up we got, so we got a little, there's a little stand that comes for the guitar, so yeah, it's all adjustable here so you can lift it up and down, so that's cool. I did the, I have the Frankenstein one somewhere, and uh, so this is the Kramer 5150, uh, here it is, it's got some cardboard around the headstock. Probably need a knife at some point, but <laughs> you see already. There's the there's the headstock with the seventh uh, seventh tuner here. Uh, yeah. So here it is. Uh, yeah, it's got the. Kramer 5150, uh, there's no real decal up here. I know it had a Kramer originally, then it was an Ernie Ball, and it's gone through a bunch of different variations up there. Um, just looking at it, um, yeah, it looks here, you see this stripe here that goes to the Zebra pickup, which it now has? This stripe here, and it looks like the volume knob, it looks like it's a bit high, so we're going to compare it to the photo I, I've always had on my wall since I was about, uh, I don't know, 16 years old. Uh, yeah, so I guess looking at it this way, sorry, there's a bit of a glare. Yeah, you see the black stripe, how, yeah, it's sort of going from the side to, let's say, yeah, to the humbucker. It's definitely hitting the cavity, and you see the volume knob below, that's kind of set uh, sort of, uh, I guess, close to between the Floyd and the humbucker. And then you look at this one, and you can see that that stripe is definitely a lot higher above the zebra pickup, and the volume knob's a lot higher, looking at it this way. Um, so what I'd say is, this replica, it looks like it's probably some kind of photo was taken of it, and it's, I don't know, come down to some kind of thin thin paper or something and then sort of pressed on there but whoever um, presses it on the body uh, <laughs> the the sticker or whatever it is is definitely higher up the the body than it should be because that black stripe should be hitting the pickup um, so that's the second one I've opened so I do have the first one I opened <laughs> It's right here. So the first one I opened is right here, and you'll see the pickup 
isn't the Zebra. The pickups just, uh, argument is it's a Seymour Duncan 59 or a JV or something, but this is the one I just opened. It has the Zebra. This one <laughs> just has a straight uh, non-Zebra one. Um, and so that's kind of strange. Uh, <laughs> Um, definitely the same box though, showing the zebra on the cover, but look at the cover, that black stripe I'm talking about does come across and hit sort of in the, the cavity, the pickup cavity on both of them. So yeah, um, I just got to show you that again, just in case you missed it. <laughs> one of them, this one has the zebra, this one. Just uh, Seymour Duncan 59 black. Um, and these came together from the uh, Van Halen store in the same box, both of them. Um, I guess I'll look at the back. Um, uh, so looking at the back, uh, the, the one thing I will note is on Ed's original one, I know that sort of this, it would have been red paint that comes down. Uh, it, it is worn from him playing it, the white shows, but it normally would come down closer to the skunk stripe. Um, yeah, there, here's my build I did on the back. You can see like it does actually come closer. So I'd say on this it's probably the skunk stripe is a bit shorter than it probably should be. I did an exact match of this. I have a photo of the back of this guitar originally. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. That's just my uh, my viewpoint on this uh, this uh, replica. Um, I know a lot of guys. There's Johnny Bean in uh, in Santa Cruz, California. Kayla Rappaport in Santa Monica. There's Dave Nesdal in New York. There's Jay Hannon in South Carolina. There's uh, Rob Johnson in Massachusetts. A bunch of us. You know, we're kind of geeky about this stuff. But uh, you know, if you're gonna have it on the box, where that black stripe and uh, volume knob is kind of in the right spot on the photo and then you're building these and sending them out guys might want to make the correction let's get that black stripe and volume knob down uh, that's just you know us geeks <laughs> looking for accuracy that's what we always sort of do with uh, these replicas but just generally I guess someone that it's not sort of geeky like us would just look at this and say, yeah, you know, all oh, red body, black and white stripes. Yeah, that's cool. That's that's an Eddie Van Halen thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're going to call it an exact replica, <laughs> it's uh, I guess it would never be totally exact. But I think uh, me and my buddies, I mentioned, uh, if we were shipping it out, uh, it wouldn't be shipped out. We'd be uh, we'd be saying, Let, let's make the correction. Anyway, just my two bits. Uh, thanks very much, everybody. Thanks again, uh, Johnny Bean, Dave Nesdal, Jay Hannon, Rob Johnson, Kayla Rappaport, Michael Smith, the captain, John Bale, 5150, R2, R3, Locking Nut, uh, Ben Coombs, Bag Cereals. Everybody, thanks much. We'll see you next time. Adios.